off a new brush fire breaking out this time in Broward. The flames burning dangerously close to homes and leaving cars covered in ash. Let's get right to Local 10's Joseph Ojo live in Pembroke Pines with the brush fire alert. Joseph. And right now, ladies, we are much farther away from that fire, but I can tell you that when we were closer to it earlier, you can see ash flying all over and that blaze was moving very, very quickly. This battle for the fire is not only concerning for those firefighters, but also as well for those living nearby. The massive brush fires that have been raging in West Miami-Dade have now crossed the county line. You can smell it, see it, and feel it in your throat as thick smoke billows into the air. A little difficult to breathe. I feel it when I breathe. Friday, near the intersection of US-27 and Pines Boulevard in Pembroke Pines, our camera spotting firefighters working around the clock to get a handle on multiple fires that burned over 10,000 acres of dry bushes, shrubs, and grass. I come out of the workroom from just to get a fresh air, and I was like, why does my house smell like fire inside? And that's why I noticed, like, oh, it's gotten closer. The ash flying all over has some people living in a nearby mobile home community faring the worst. I just hope it doesn't get to the houses. While others pray for rain this weekend and hold out hope for the best. No fear, because I know Jesus is my protector and he watches over this community. Fire officials tell us that this brush fire is connected to the L30 fire, which we reported on Thursday off Chrome Avenue. Yeah, I wasn't even in Pembroke Pines anymore, and I could still see it from where I was. And it just looked like a big cloud. Florida power and light crews on scene, as well as Florida Forest Service, with heavy machinery equipment used to fight large-scale brush fires. So no road closures that we've seen throughout the day, and we do know that police and firefighters did go door to door to check on people and then ensure them that they were safe. And we did just get a last check from fire officials who tell us that there could be a possibility of visibility issues while people are driving in the morning if that smoke is pushed by the wind. We're here in Pembroke Pines. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News. Important for residents to know that. Thanks, Joseph.